All right, Shalom. Hey, Shalom. All right, we the brothers from Great Millstone Atlanta Church coming back into the spirit on the brother Nathaniel. Brother Shema. And uh, first and foremost, before we get started, as always, we want to give all praise going on or two. Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem, Yahweh Also, double honors to the elders and the apostles of Great Millstone and Ruler T12. Peace, love, and salutations to those that are doing this work in truth and sincerity. And um, uh, we're just going to go ahead and go into it. Um, you know, one of the biggest reasons why we push this word the way we do is because we want to pro profess that we don't agree with what's going on. Mm -hmm. We don't want, we don't agree with this shit. And, and, and to keep silent is showing that you do agree with it. So if you want to bring up that precept. Yep. This, this is Isaiah chapter 62, verse six. It reads, I have set watchmen upon thy walls. O Jerusalem, which shall never hold their peace day nor night. Ye that make mention of the Lord, keep not silence. Verse 7, and give him no rest till he establish and till he make Jerusalem a praise in the earth. Now off that precept, you know, one of the, the highlights that we want to highlight is keep not silent. Okay? You know, um, if we don't profess the Lord, if we don't speak the things to come that the Lord told us to, we're not representing the Lord. Right. We're accepting this evil system. Yep. Now, I got a definition um, that I wanted to bring out, um, or, or actually it's a quote, and it's called, uh, it's called silence is acquiescence. And basically what that means, acquiescence is agreement or consent via silent without objection, right? So it says by definition, acquiescence is passive acceptance or submission. In other words, agreement or consent via silence or without objection or protest. So when, when you see the things that are happening in the world and you don't, pro, you don't object or protest it, that means that you are silently agreeing to it. Yep. You see? Yep. You got it out. I'll read, I'll read that scripture one more time. <clears throat> this is Isaiah 60, chapter 62, verse 6. I have set watchmen upon thy walls, O Jerusalem, which shall never hold their peace day nor night. Ye that make mention of the Lord, keep not silence. And that's a good, this is a good point with the scripture as well, that make mention of the Lord. This has to do with the truth. Mm -hmm. We're speaking upon not agreeing with things according to how the scripture has set things to be in order. So everything that we disagree with, because it's not, it's not, it's not righteous. It's not you right know, now. it's not, it's not uh, the, the, the will of the heavenly father. Mm -hmm. All right. It's uh, verse seven. And give him no rest till he established until he make Jerusalem a praise in the earth. Yeah, so we're supposed to continue to protest. Um, you know, um, if you can find that precept uh, that says that then the sigh and cry, you know. Oh yeah. We yeah, supposed yeah, to yeah, we yeah. supposed to be sure. in the ear of the heavenly Father, yeah. constantly sighing yeah. and crying. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And telling the, the heavenly Father, our giving the heavenly Father our petition. Yep. Like we're tired of this shit, man. We don't want to have any parts of it. We see right. the effect of wickedness, but at mm -hmm. the same time, to warn the wicked. Of this wickedness as well, so uh, warn our people of this wickedness. Mm -hmm. You see, Salakia, which our people are two thirds are inherently wicked, mm -hmm. but to warn them to so they can potentially come out of that mind state. You know Ezekiel. what I'm saying? Yep. So you got it out. This is Ezekiel chapter nine verse four. And the Lord said unto him, Go through the midst of the city, through the midst of Jerusalem, and set a mark upon the foreheads of the men that sigh and that cry for all the abominations that be done in the midst thereof. Yeah, so like the brother just mentioned, if you, you, uh, and like the definition just mentioned, man, all right, silence is, uh, what, apprehensive? Silence is acquiescence. A acquiescence. Acquiescence. Yep. So like, uh, like the brother just mentioned, you, you not, you not speaking up against it. You're, you're basically by default agreeing with the things that are taking place in the earth. Mm -hmm. All right. On a, on a micro, on a macro scale and on a micro scale. All right. No matter what. Okay. Yeah, and if I can say too, that's mm -hmm. why his agenda continues to progress. Yep, and flourish. And flourish because, you know, a lot of people don't want to believe that, you know, th this devil has a rule. He has a cardinal rule that he has to, in some way, form or fashion, tell you what he's about to do to you, mm -hmm. right? So he puts the shit in movies. That's why the men of the Lord are always watching these movies because the movies are giving his plan, you yep. know? And yep. his in his media, when you watch his media, his media is giving away his plans, right? right? But a lot of a lot, and then the crazy thing is, is that you know he'll put this out there, and then you have a lot of Jakes that'll see it and they'll 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 put it out there that this is what's happening, yep. and then you got two thirds who say, oh, you a conspiracy theorist, or you a Bible thumper, or you you're crazy, or something like that. 
but the, the stuff is right in your face to see. Yep. You know, and that, that shows you the power of this devil's witchcraft, you know. But um, as this brother, I'm going to uh, bring up this quote. This, uh, it's, it's, it's more like a proverb, okay? Yep. Yep. And it's about, it's a Roman proverb. And um, basically it goes into how when you don't say nothing, the agenda is actually forwarded. But basically it goes like this. When the Romans came and they took my neighbor's neighbor, I said nothing. When the Romans came and took my neighbor, I said nothing. And when the Romans came to take me, there was no one to speak for me. You see, so we're out here speaking for the, the for uh, uh, our nation, you know, through the words of the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shah. Right? That's what we're out here doing, per telling you the things to come, and that we don't agree with this shit. But you yep. got it, actually. Like it. Huh. Yep. This is Ezekiel chapter three, verse seventeen. It reads, "Son of man, I have made thee a watchman unto the house of Israel." And as the brothers have been going into. We're, the Lord put it on our spirit to be spiritual watchmen for our for our nation. Warn, warn our people of our enemy. Warn our people what's to come next concerning Bible prophecy. And warn our people what to do in order to be delivered in these last days. All right, the Lord anointed our spirit. So we're going to take advantage of uh, it being uh, meat for the master's use, you know. So it says, and not hide our talent under a bushel. Mm -hmm. It says, therefore, hear the word in my mouth and give them warning from me. Right. Verse 18, when I say unto the wicked, thou shalt surely die, and thou givest him not warning, nor speakest to warn the wicked from his wicked way to save his life, the same wicked man shall die his iniquity, but his blood will I require a dying hand. All right. So as a, as a definition in the phrase has been continued to go, you, you keep in silence. Are you is, is you uh, by default or silently agreeing? With the system, agreeing with the beast, agreeing mm -hmm. with the so-called white man, agreeing with the Edomite infrastructure, agreeing with the wicked of our people and their actions. By you not silently, what, just going with the flow. We know how we know how our people are. Going with the flow, minding your own business, you know. It's going to, it's going to all fall at your hands, especially those. This has to really do with those that understand themselves to be Hebrew Israelites. You know, you're not truly warning your people of the of the agenda of the so-called white man, of, uh, of the karagma, mm -hmm. of that tiny technology. All right, that the central bank digital currency, this digital transition. All right, you're not requiring these things. You're not uh, speaking upon these prophecies to warn to warn your congregation. The blood will be on your hands, man. You know, because you, your your uh your sincere listeners are not uh, fully aware or prepared mentally. All right, with that mental fortitude, not prepared for what's about to take place. All right, we got we got congregation out there not speaking upon Jacob's trouble. All right, not not speaking upon the uh, the, uh, the the CHIP. You know, these things, man. But that, this is the, that's, that's Ezekiel 3. So I'm going to continue on. Ezekiel chapter 3, verse 19. Yet if thou warn the wicked, and he turn not from his wickedness, nor from his wicked way, he shall die in his iniquity. Because at the end all be all, the Lord has predestined and preordained, you know, the wicked and the righteous. All right? Mm -hmm. We're waiting to see how things will play out, of course. So if someone is predestined to be wicked, but you still warn them, hey, it is what it is. The blood is off your hands. You did, you did your... You did your uh, will of the Heavenly Father, you know? And it says, uh, continuing on, Nor from his wicked way he shall die in his iniquity, but thou hast delivered thy soul. So you have, you did, you have deliver, delivered your soul because you, what? you didn't keep silent, you know? You actually used, you actually understood the prophecies and taught the prophecies, you know? You warned the wicked. You warned the nation of Israel, man. You did the, a work that is supreme to any other work that is on the planet Earth. You know, the work of a prophet, you know. Let me see if it's uh verse verse 20, let me see what this goes into. It says, Again, when a righteous man doeth turn from his turn from his righteousness and commit iniquity, and I lay a stumbling block before him, he shall die. Because thou hast not given him warning, he shall die in his sin, and his righteousness, which he have done, shall not be remembered, but his blood will I require a dying hand. So yeah, the same thing being reiterated and repeated. Mm -hmm. You know, the Lord is going to the Lord wants those, especially especially those men of the nation of Israel that understand themselves to be Hebrew Israelites, understand understands the, the scriptures, the knowledge, the wisdom, to a to put forth the put forth the work, to do his work, man. If you don't, if you don't warn the wicked, if you don't put it in, he's going that blood, that judgment is going to come upon you. Mm -hmm. All right, it, worse than those those that didn't even have known about the truth, they didn't even know themselves to be Israelites. Yeah, you, you know, know, he 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 uh, that knew will be beaten with many stripes, man. Because exactly. you knew you knew better, man. Exactly. You know, and and two.
for y'all camps out there, y'all, y'all, y'all other camps out there that are not teaching, not, not giving y'all, y'all, it's like y'all giving them a warning, like, yeah, 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 things are happening, but you know, it's not really that big of a deal. That's kind of like what y'all doing yeah. because here we are, you know, wait, wait, what's in the world that's called what? Gaslighting. Yeah. Gaslighting. And gaslighting the provinces. Yeah. Gaslighting. <laughs> and that, but see, that's what they do. Yeah. You know, yeah, that's yeah. what the men do. Like, you know, yeah. you, you're not telling people about the shit. Not saying shit. Not saying shit. You, you're just saying, what, what just, you just yelling, repent, keep the commandments. Okay, you got to get you gotta get a whole, in the entirety, the volume of the book. Exactly. You got to get the whole, the bitter and the sweet, the whole thing, man. Mm -hmm. You got any more than that? No, nah, that was the dollar. Yeah. Yeah. I got a quick one. Yeah, this is um, Isaiah 30 and 9. We bring this out all the time, but, I mean, again, something I got to get beat in. This is Isaiah 30 and 9. It says, that this is the rebellious people, lying children that will not hear the law of the Lord. You see, because when the brother just brought out Ezekiel, it is our responsibility to blow the trumpet and warn the horn. But if the people that that are that that were that are hearing the the the, uh, the warning, if they're just walking around like it ain't nothing wrong, his blood is on his own hands. So we're telling we're telling the people, hey, it's, it's about to pop off very very soon, man. This is you got to repent. You know, you ain't got no hedge. You, hey, it's about to be really bad out here. Mm -hmm. The Lord is giving this last little window yeah. before all hell break loose. I'm serious. Yeah. We got one last little window left. Yeah. It, you, you can see it. You can smell it in the mm -hmm. air. It's like the tension is mounting to an a, a insurmountable amount of pressure to where when it breaks, it's going to break with such force yeah. that, that, that people aren't going to even be able to see it coming. Right. You see, it's, it, that's how bad it's, it's going to get really, really bad. So we're, 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 we're telling you, but y'all are lying children. And it says, which say to the seers, see not. We don't want to hear your message. We don't care about your warning. And say to the prophets, prophesy not unto us right things. Speak to, on, speak to us smooth things. Prophesy us to cease. And that's, that's a lot of you other camps, like, you know, IUIC. You're telling people that, 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 that the microchip, I mean, the mark of the beast is sin. Things like that. And it's not the, the, the actual you know, implantable RFID uh, um, 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 chip, you know, you're not telling people that. So you're gaslighting the message. You're saying that, oh, well, you can get it and, and it's still not it. But then how do you get out of it? How do you get out of it? If, if, if sin mm -hmm. is the mark and the mark is something that you can't repent from, then all of us are doomed. You see what I'm saying? Because all of us have taken it. So that can't be it. Right. Then it, um, verse 11, it says, it says, get out of the way, turn aside out of the path, cause the Holy One of Israel to see before us. You see, so you don't want to hear it. And that's all y'all people that are we're blowing the horn to right now that gloss past this message, that's gloss past this video. It might be in your thumbnail when it pop up. You might have, you know, 20 videos. All of them are very popular. And there's one video right here with five views and you have the option to click on it. But instead you, you see, right. you know, something about Hebrew Israelites or right. and you just gloss right past it like it's nothing. And this could be the message that you need to hear to save your life. Save your life, bro. You know? And then it says, um, verse 12, Wherefore, thus saith the Holy One of Israel, because you despise this word and trust in oppression and perverseness and stay thereon, Therefore, this iniquity should be to you as a breach ready to fall, swelling out of a mm. high wall, whose breaking cometh suddenly and in an instant. Remember, I just said the tension is mountain, and when it snaps, exactly. it's gonna snap so fast and so hard that you ain't gonna see it coming or expect it. Right. You know, and that's what y'all are getting into right now. And but there is a way out. And that's through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, repenting and turning away from this wicked ass place. Right. But you got it out. Yeah, and just land back, just land back on a few. That the things and we and we warned about these. Just like yesterday, we was going to the the, the, the BCIs and the universal uh, basic income and how this thing is transitioning and how this thing will lead to that charisma of that technology going into into the human bodies because they want ultimate control. Mm -hmm. All right, they want they want super they want god like control, man. That's their objective, all right? That's that's our enemy's objective. That's Esau's objective, all right? And we're not going to keep silence on these things because, hey, we're not. We're obligated to do the work. Are right? we obligated to what? Prophesy, uh, what's that, Jeremiah 28 and 8, you know? Yeah, I get it. Yeah, Jeremiah. But we, we're we're obligated to do these things. It's just in our spirit. Mm -hmm. and, we, and we hold our silence. That's uh, Jeremiah 2 and 20, uh, 33. Why trimmest thou thy ways to seek love, man? That's what these people do. That's why they keep silent. Because they want they want that love. Mm -hmm. They want everybody, they want to be liked. They want, they want to uh that's the, that's that African American type type energy, man. 
You know, you want to fit in. You know, you want to fit in with Esau, Edom. You want to fit in with the world. But the Lord gave us spirit not to, man. You know, simple as that. You got it, though. If you want to, yeah, make a point, too. No, I'm just... Oh, man, this is wicked. It's <laughs> for kids, man. It's like it. This is Jeremiah 28 and 8. It says, The prophets that have been before me and before thee yep. of old prophesied both against many countries and against great kingdoms yep. of war and of evil and of pestilence. Verse 9. The yeah, so, and then, like, just land back off that verse. What we're doing is a, is a huge work, man. We're speaking, we're speaking great things, great prophecies against this, against against America, against this infrastructure, this B system. This is a mighty, this is a mighty world. This is, and we're dealing with people, uh, the elites of Esau Edom, man. All right, coming after our videos. They had, they, they see us, man. They don't, they, they see our messages, mm -hmm. you know? They, they see these messages, man. Nobody else on the earth is speaking things like, oh, America's gonna be destroyed. All right, and oh, famine's about to take place. Nobody's saying these same messages. We're not a regular podcast. Or regular talking points on ESPN or your, or your sports uh, sports news. These these are, these are serious things that's being spoken via the scriptures. Best believe is being heard, man. Because yeah. why? We're not keeping silence, right? You know. And and the, and the scriptures talk about how we're supposed to go to the gates of the nobles, man. Ooh, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. The scriptures talk about how we're supposed to do that, and it talks about how uh, how uh, he, we gonna stand boldly before boldly, those that bro. that afflicted us, man. You yeah. know, and that and that's what we do, and we and. And you know, you know, Elder Malcolm. Um, you know, when you watch his brother, the, the elder brother's videos, the very first thing, one of the very first things he says, he says, you know, to the men that are risking their lives and their freedoms to yeah. push this word. Yeah, he did. Like, did, we literally are putting ourselves, our lives on the line. Like, do you, do you know, in kingdoms of old, men of the Lord were hung, their families were killed, and all of these different things, and mm -hmm. they were persecuted in many different ways to warn you of right. dangers to come. Do, are, do you realize that? You know, you think that you just see men sitting out there on the highways and the byways and, oh, they're just preaching the Bible. No. Yeah. We are warning you of the things to come. And it's yeah. going to come a time to where this devil, the scriptures say that that, uh, uh, that, 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 that the devil should come down with great wrath exactly. because he had but a short time. Yep. Eventually, it's, it's going to... He gonna come down because he gonna be like, you know, I had enough of this, man. He gonna come in like that great flood. Yeah, and then, then that then that standard is gonna be lifted. Cause we see we see it on the highways and byways, just on the regular these regular citizens. They want to kill us, bro. Mm. They want to shut us up. They take the pictures. They want to mock and laugh, just like just as like yesterday. We had a few of that. A few of those people come by the camp recording behind the car windows. They man, these people hate. They hate the prophets, man. They hate. They hate those that rebuke them at the gates. Mm. But we're not keeping silence. It was like your brothers just mentioned. We're standing boldly, man. Mm -hmm. you, you know, being you know uh, publicly publicly uh, humiliated for the yeah. Lord's sake. Yeah, you yeah. Know, they, they think we out there looking like bums. They think we broke, poor. They think we stupid. They think all these things, bro. We know. We know what the people. We, we know what the perception is. Mm -hmm. You know. But you know, we hey, we making ourselves a spectacle for the Lord. That's you it. know. Yep. That because what else can we offer the Lord? Right. We can't offer him. This is our reasonable service. Reasonable and, service. and 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 um. The brother uh, brought out something. Um, he said, "He said the Lord gonna lift that standard." You know, yeah, he gonna lift the standard for his men that's been out here doing his work. That yeah. repented. Mm -hmm. You know, Lord willing, we be at that number. But right. for you other Jakes that didn't want to hear it, mm -hmm. what standard gonna get lifted for you? You see, mm -hmm. what standard gonna get lifted for you? See, the Lord, he gonna he gonna he gonna give a hedge of protection for for those that believe in him and serve him, mm -hmm. right? And they turned away from their age. He said, "My servant shall eat," right? But the rest of y'all gonna be mournful and sorrowful, right? So we're warning you of these things. We're not trying to keep silent. We're trying to tell you these things that are to come. That it's not even to come anymore. They're here. Yeah. These yeah. things are actually here. We're seeing yeah. the beginning of the food shortages right now. You yeah. go into the grocery stores right now. The shelves ain't getting stocked like they used to. Right. High gas prices. You. I mean, uh, food and prices. Inflation. On inflation every, on every market. House market. The gas. Man, the, the, the resources you want to buy wood to go build with all the types of materials, inflation on every damn thing, man. You know? So, so as the brother said, mm -hmm. inflation is on everything. How long do you think this shit is going to happen before it really drops? Yeah. You know? So you got it out. Right. Yeah. <laughs> you got something. This, oh, yeah. Just to, uh, to continue on the point of hey, keeping our silence. This is uh, Isaiah chapter 58, uh, verse 1. Cry aloud, spare oh, not. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cry, <laughs> hey, cry aloud. And that cry aloud in the Bible, it's in all caps. 
And that's what we're doing. Like the, the brother brought out the scripture with Ezekiel 9 and 4, how we're sighing and crying. We're really, we're spiritually and righteously crying aloud, man. All right, telling, so we're uh, warning the people of, a hey, of our power that he's coming back. That's spiritually crying out, man. Because we understand that we, we need help and we need the Lord. All right, and without, and without those things, bro, we're, we're, we're guaranteed to, to fail, man. All right? Cry aloud, spare not, lift up thy voice like a trumpet, and show my people, who are the Israelites, you Negroes, Latinos, and you Native Americans, who are scattered worldwide, show my people their transgression. So you're supposed to, we're supposed to, we're supposed to let you know what you're doing wrong and what you're doing right. And you're, you're, very, you're doing a very few things right according to the scriptures. Mm -hmm. All right, the southern our people. So we're here to show you your transgression, where you're going off, and where you're, where your, uh, your path is leading you to destruction. And we're trying to lead you down a path that's going to potentially, like the brother mentioned earlier, potentially save your life. That's right. You know, it's deliverance, man. Because we, we're, we're, we're at the hopeful elect. We all don't know. Because that's, that's a Jake want to be a smart ass. You don't know if he's going to yeah, get Y'all think y'all still know. Bro, it's we're a hope we're the hopeful elect, man. It's a great it's a great chance. Hey, so you know? so I, just to put things in perspective, internships. Mm -hmm. We like interns. Exactly. Right? We yeah, like the Lord's the, interns. Good, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. We we doing the work and we're trying to do the work in hopes that the Lord hire us right. when the time comes. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Just like when you go and you do this, you, you working Perfect. in hopes that the that you get hired by this company. Perfect you know, example. that's us. We hoping that. So when we say we have the hopeful elect. Hey man, we we believe a lot of us believe that we are the elect, but we say hopeful elect because we just don't know. But how can we go through? How can we go through this without believing that we could possibly be one of the elect? You know what I'm saying? How can we not do that? We got we can't. Well, I don't, I don't, I don't know, man. Shit, I mean not because if you if you doubt that you could possibly be one of the elect, you might not you not not might not burn at full full flame. That's it. You know That's what I'm it. saying? Right. You gotta have the mo mo momentum to get you all the way through to end, what to the endure to the end to be delivered to be saved. Mm -hmm. You need it all. You need all that momentum, all that oil. You know. You got something else, so you can. Uh, I'll reread this one. Come I don't on. think I, I don't know if I got something, else, but. Yeah, Isaiah chapter 58, verse 1. Cry aloud, spare not, lift up thy voice like a trumpet, and show my people their transgression, and, and the house of Jacob their sins. All right? So, like, so he's been going into, man, the house of Jacob referring to who? The, the Hebrew Israelites, you know? The, the, uh, the house of Jacob. The progenitor of Jacob being the progenitor of the, of the nation of Israel, you know? Because the lineage of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. And we're here to show, show our people what? Show them their sins, man. The house of Jacob, their sins. All right. So let me uh reread it one more time. Isaiah 58, verse 1. Cry aloud, spare not, lift up thy voice like a trumpet, and show my people their transgression in the house of Jacob their sins. All right. So for those Israelites that's not doing it, let me get, let me grab that. Uh I, I had held this earlier, Luke chapter 12. All right. For those that, but for those Israelites that's not doing, you know, the, the Lord's will, all right, but under, but understands it, you know, will be judged on a, or will receive a harsher judgment, all right. So this is Luke, chapter twelve. I'm gonna start at verse forty, uh, forty. Now I'm gonna say forty. Uh, Luke chapter twelve, verse forty. I'm gonna start at uh. 40, I'm going to say 40, I'm going to start verse 46, all right, you good, you good, Luke chapter 12, verse 46, it reads, the Lord of that servant will come in a day when he looketh not for him, and in an hour when he is not aware, and will cut him asunder, and will appoint him his portion with the unbelievers, and that servant which knew the Lord's will, and prepared not himself, neither did according to his will, shall be beaten with many stripes. So yeah, that's just a show, man. Those that's keeping silence, especially those of the Israelites are not warning the people, not teaching them that they that they are the people of the Bible. All right, not doing any such things will be judged. You you'll be judged that you were a, a, as a, a as an unbeliever. You know that's a hard and that's a a worse judgment, man. You know. Mm -hmm. Um, I got some. This is uh, Psalms eighty three and one. Yep. Um, it says, "Keep not thou silence." O Yahweh, hold not thy peace and be not still. For lo, thine enemies make a tumult, and they that hate thee have lifted up the head. They have taken crafty counsel against thy people and counsel against thy hidden ones. They have said, come and let us cut them off from being a nation. 
that the nation, that the name of Israel uh, may be no more of remembrance. Mm -hmm. So the, how, do, how does the Lord speak? He speaks through his men. Yep. The Lord don't come down from his, from his heavenly throne and say, okay, I'm talking. No, everything would be destroyed if he did that. You right. know what I'm saying? Right. Every, if, if the Lord stepped foot on the earth, everything would be destroyed because right. he's too pure. He's too powerful. You know right. what I'm saying? Right. But uh, um, the Lord told us to keep not silent, right? We're supposed to warn you of your, trans, of your transgression. You know, we are in the midst of our enemies right now. Yep. We are we're sitting in the midst of our enemies. Everybody mm -hmm. hate us. Everybody mm -hmm. hate the Negro, Latino, Native American. We, we get mistreated by everybody and everything. Why? Because we're under the curses. Well, the Lord is telling us, keep not silent and warn the people of the transgression so that I can get y'all out of this situation that you're in. Yep. You see what I'm saying? The Lord has a way out for us, but the way out for us is through repentance and turning away from this wicked shit that we've done put ourselves in, yep. you know? And and if you read uh, 2 Chronicles uh, 7 and 14, it says, uh, my people... Uh, yeah. my people, uh, which are called by my name, um, if they turn away, roughly paraphrasing, they turn away from their, 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 their wicked ways and pray and seek my face. Well, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, you, I you, read, you yeah, I, yeah, so, I read, yeah. so this, this is the brother about to bring it out. This is what we need to do in order to get out of this situation. The Lord gave us the, the, the blueprint. He told us, Hey, if you do this, but our people ain't going to do that. You know what I'm saying? But nevertheless, we still got to go out and constantly warn. You can read that, bro. Yep. This Second Chronicles chapter 7, verse 14. If my people, which are called by my name, shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then will I hear from heaven and will forgive their sin and will heal their... Yeah, hey, Salaki had a video cut off on us, mm -hmm. Satan, <laughs> you know. But um, but yeah, you know we were we were uh, the brother had just uh, went over Second uh, Chronicles uh, yeah. seven and fourteen, and um, you know hey you know we're we're our people we're yeah. called by the name of the Lord Yasharala Prince of the Power he is Prince of the Power right that's us that Yasharala right so we have the Most High's name in our nation's name you know and if our people was to turn away from our wicked ways and repent the Lord will restore us. But our people ain't, so we gotta st we gotta continue to be out there because you know if you go um, the scripts say you know um, when you go into the Passover right uh, 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 no uh, so like when you go into the to the the, the, uh, the 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 people that cry and they sigh for the abominations they're on yep. we're looking for those people those people that agree that that this shit is 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 not the way that the heavenly Father meant it to be exactly. and that this place got to go. You know what I'm yep. saying? So, yeah, that's pretty much it. Yeah, right. You had, you had any, anything else? No, that's it. Yeah, so, I mean, the point the point is truly been made, man, about uh, keeping out silence and those that uh, do not agree, or, 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 or let, let's say those that do agree, but you're not putting the work in and warning our people of what to do and, and to turn from their wicked ways and serve the Lord, and you, you're just as guilty. You're just as guilty, man. You know, you're not, if you're not, you can't, it's no way being lukewarm, man. Mm -hmm. No, it's going to spew you out. So you're either fully, fully serving the Lord or you're, or you're, or you're, or you're not. That's right. S simple as that, man. And not just serving the Lord when you go out to the highways or byways or behind the camera, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah right. That's why the scriptures say in spirit and in truth, right? Mm -hmm. That's yep. why it says that in spirit and in truth, because exactly. what are you doing outside of the, of the eye of the brothers, man? What are you right. doing outside of the eye of the camera? You know, are you still doing what you're supposed to do according to the scriptures and your day to day life? That's you know, if that's when it matters the most, the man. Most, yeah. You know what I'm saying? When when yeah. you're not being seen, you see, mm -hmm. and that's why that's why how Shai say uh, to the uh, about the scribes and the Pharisees to do what they say, but not what they do. You know. Yeah. But yeah, that was it. That's all. That's I had. it. Yeah. So with that, man, you know, Lord willing, this lesson was edifying and also encouraging to you, sincere believers. We went out by giving all the glory, infinite praises unto. Yahweh Shai by Hashem Kapodash. Double honor to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. Alright, and repent. Yahweh Shai is coming back. Repent, Yahweh Shai is coming back. Hey, Shalom. Shalom. Yep.